Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some more Micromasters from Transformers Earthrise. Before we look at the figures themselves, we're going to look at the packaging. This is the race car patrol. We got Road Force and Gr Groundhog. And these are little Decepticon race cars. Transformers Earthrise, War for Cybertron Trilogy, H+. Hasbro, Autobot Insignia, Generations, Takara Tomy. It's a product shot of Road Force and Groundhog in their race car and bot modes. But that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's get down to looking at these race cars close hand. Let's start with... Road Force, and he is a nice looking muscle car, race car with some flames. I dig this MicroMaster race car. I really do. It's cool looking. And now we got Groundhog, which he's a dragster. You know what he reminds me of? Combiner Wars drag strip. He's just literally a dragster of a car, which is nice. But now we're going to get down to transformation, which is simple with these little guys. We're going to disconnect the arms, fold that down, fold up the legs like so. And there we got Groundhog in his little robot mode. See if I can get a good look on him on camera. He's hard to get on camera, but he is a cute looking little micro master. I love these. They're fun to transform and mess around with. That's all there is to say for Groundhog. Let's get down to Road Force. And he's a little race car as well. We're going to flip this down. Going to disconnect this section which can be a pain in the neck on my copy on my copy it's a pain in the neck to get transformed on camera because it's a little bit tighter than I would like and there we got road force in his robot mode which is pretty cute and for comparison here he is next to his fellow Decepticon race car, Groundhog. Now for comparison. Here he is next to the Decepticon Military Patrol, Decepticon Micromasters. I forget this one's particular name, but yeah. And next to Bomb Shot. Next to Bomb Shot, which I do remember. It's been a while since I've reviewed MicroMasters, so my memory on some of them is a little bit fuzzy. Now for comparison with Bomb Shot next to Groundhog, which looks nice, if I do say so myself. And this little guy, because it's precious. It's MicroMaster Precious. And you're probably wondering, why am I picking up a lot of MicroMasters? Well, I never grew up with Generation 1 MicroMasters, but when they released these from Siege, I kind of fell in love with them with the Earthrise and the Siege MicroMasters. They're fun to mess around, fun to play with on the channel. So yeah, I like to have fun when I review these. Is a set of... Race car MicroMasters, worth adding to your MicroMaster collection. If you like cute little race cars, yes, these are worth the money. And if you can get them together as a set, get the whole set, they're even more worth it. I'm still working on getting the whole set of MicroMasters. But when I got the whole set, my collection of MicroMasters will be complete. And then I will 
show off an entire collection. And I won't be doing a side video today as well, so... The side video will be Friday, which is when we go to Steel City Con in three days, people. Three days until Steel City Con. I will show off what I pick up from Steel City Con Friday. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.